that super is fast. little drive here. Hello, I'm Jensen. What's going on, guys? So I got two very special cars owned by my guy, Josh, over What's at Overkill. On, What's Back going on? Again, man. Haven't seen you in a minute, been bro. A little bit, you know, just dealing with the family. Hell yeah, a know. bunch of projects. Oh, a couple of new vehicles, huh? Yes. I think they've seen this one time, they've seen but it, definitely but not like videos. this. Not like this. We didn't do any videos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a there's a monster behind you. Oh, just a little little something. <laughs> <left. Just> <laughs> there's wait, a, a second, monster behind you. What do you? Which car do you want to get to first? Uh, let's let's start with the R8. All right, start with the R8. Yeah, so the R8, 2018 R8 plus basically model. Beautiful uh, color, first of all. Of course, it's overkill purple. Purple. You know, as you got <laughs> all the cars are gonna be purple pretty soon. The satin on it is really nice. Yeah, it's a satin, so like a little frost they call it. It's amethyst is what the color is. You got the carbon fiber add-ons, the Vorsteiner carbon fiber add-ons. Spoiler. Your rear diffuser, side skirts, your air uh, intake. Yeah, they used what to call, call those the, the door blades, but in like, remember in the old school, the they call it the uh, Iron Man one. This was a blade. Yeah, and that's then they true. separate it into the two pieces now. Yeah. Mirror caps, front splitter, variant forged wheels. I wanted to go with a, a different wheel. You guys saw the wheels that were on the Huracan. You know, the whole carbon fiber thing. Again, Huracan's getting redone. You guys are gonna have to see that. It's gonna, <laughs> What is this, version really not, three? Four? Version something, I don't know. <laughs> By now, everybody who had like the cars, they've done crashed them or they got them repoed. Yeah, for real. <laughs> for some reason, part. a lot of twin turbo Lambos just disappeared. It's I weird. still got mine and I'm still adding to it. I got the carbon ceramics all the way around, the upgraded um, performance package and all that other little BS stuff, whatever it is. This was like, if you remember in the videos, uh, when we did the video with the McLaren, yeah and then you still got to do the video the new mclaren build because that's super crazy yeah. the wide body maybe a couple of you guys saw it when we were out at sema oh, yeah, the SEMA. bespoke okay SEMA, bespoke that's right 720s yeah. and now dde they're doing yeah they're the doing same their kit, version their version of our kit that we did first <laughs> i'm the first rapper in the world i'm the first one <laughs> they're amazing they're the most comfortable cars they've got the most space you can like do everything that you want to do with them they're very nicely optioned Everything in here is all digital. All the materials and everything, everything. are like super it's, high quality. It's, it's it When you get in this car, it feels like it's more expensive than the Lambo. I can say that because I have both. I've driven both. I would honestly say the R8 is more comfortable. I'm like 6'2", six, 6'3", six, <laughs> like yeah, you need room. I you need, need some space, room in this, right? in this thing. So it's like, I can get in and out. I know you guys done seen Mr. Goddammit done fall uh -huh. out trying to get out yeah. of cars and stuff like that. <laughs> Shout out my guy, Mr. Goddammit. <laughs> so you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta figure out how to get in and out of these things and they can be really uncomfortable, but the R8, the headroom, the comf it's just comfortable. It's really comfortable and yeah. it's a great car. It's just as fast, it sounds really good twin turbos and all that stuff all fit on it the same what exhaust is on this thing caprice or something like that basically the way that the valves work it works all completely with the rest of the system you could start this thing and it's loud yeah right you put it in performance mode and it's loud if i hit the cutoffs for the exhaust mm -hmm. it sounds like a prius we'll start it and i'll put it into <laughs>
over a certain RPM, exactly. it opens it. That is the R8. That's the R8. Now. You ready for it? Let's move on to the monster the, over the, there. What is this, Michael Myers over oh here? Oh my goodness. This is it, right? <laughs> yeah, and you is... know what's crazy? I'm gonna make a lot of people upset. I hate Supras. That's crazy. I hate them. That's insane. I hate them. <laughs> I think Supras are overrated. Even this one? They're heavy, oh, what the fuck? right, for performance. <laughs> You can count on your hand as many like series and awards that Supers have won in races, right? And Fast and Furious made them popular. Very true. Right? Very true. And because of that, I respect them. What it is, it's, it was a mediocre car with an amazing motor in it. The 2JZ <laughs> is an amazing motor. Yeah, because um, it's a Toyota. Yeah. I, yeah mean, I mean, that does. I mean, Toyotas, you know, you got the Nissans and the, the R34s. Yeah. R34 is an amazing vehicle. For sure. Way better than a Super. <laughs> They're gonna be mad, but you comment can't. down below. What you comment guys think down below about how that. much you hate me now. No, seriously, I, I'm just I'm super unbiased, right? Yeah. And that pisses people off because I'm not a fanboy of anything, and I have muscle cars, old school, new school. Whether we're talking about Mopar, Chevy, you guys yeah. have seen me in every car so far. I have all the brands. I have all the models. I've I've done every single brand. I've built all of them, and you know I'm very unbiased, but I respect performance. The two JZs are pretty much second to none. They're one of the best. This is a 95 Supra. It's an original target top, six speed, twin turbo, <laughs> uh, all numbers matching. Um, if you look here, you'll see the serial number right here. These are the VINs. This glass, the glass over there, this glass, then also right here, if you notice the number there. And if you look on my VIN, it's the same as the VIN. One of the best examples that I've ever ran into. 61,000 original miles. What's well, a TRD wide body. So that, you know, the factory race yeah. program from Toyota. It definitely got some hips on her. It's an amazing car. You know, I was, I was, I was putting <laughs> extra on it about, you know, not liking Supras. It's just, they're a little overhyped. It's got the HREs on it. They've been custom done, gloss black with lip with the flat black. Big it's got Brembo upgrade, uh, big brake kit all the way around. And underneath the hood, See, Ooh. gotta like this old school with the ooh we yes wow she's not stock this thing's been 170s in the half mile before the rebuild so now with the new build it, it'll probably go 180s 190s what size turbo is this um this is a 60 series uh big 60 series well you said this is twin turbo correct or is no, it originally, now now it's, single it's a turbo. single it's a big okay. single everybody like, goes, the other one hiding? yeah everybody <laughs> goes big singles really to make the power uh, but originally it was twin turbo um, okay. so i mean that matters at the end of the day for resale fact it's everybody wants to have certain features and it's full option down yeah. car does exhaust go all the way to the rear yeah full exhaust full exhaust out the rear it's a t1 and actually has a busher midsection and then the rest of the stuff is all custom um okay. from the top end You know, it's it's fun. You know, my excitement on it is just, it's hard to not talk about them, and you know, definitely don't want to come off bragging. You know, that's that's kind of like the crappy part. Beautiful car. Congratulations. Hey, thank you. Congratulations on another it. one to the collection. Hey. We're about to go take them for a rip, so stay tuned. Later. <laughs>
Trademark, not to be up to this, Ricky Bobby. They didn't see nothing. 